Every oh, time I hear that word, oh, every time I hear that word, what I think of a tiny little garden gnome in the city. What word? A metro gnome. I hate it. Just. Hey, welcome back to our stupid direction. It's a Corbin. I'm Rick. And he falls out. It's a gun. Butt wads and toilet paper and dragon. Subscribe. Layers. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the like button. Button. Butt wad. Hit the butt wad. Micah's here. Say hi, Micah. Hi, Micah. Hi, Micah. Yeah, you don't get to see him though because he's on cog incognito. And this is not a food video. Yeah, he only wants to be here when there's food involved. Which is understandable. Yeah, I love food. I do too. What are we doing? Uh, Who are those guys? <laughs> this is a. Uh, the Girls of Kama Sutra. Sweet. Episode three. Oh, I, that's my favorite. It's the it, it's everybody. That's the one that everybody talks like, about. Episode three of the Girls of Kama Sutra is probably yeah. It's probably has the best story arc. Yeah, that is <laughs> best. Well, most like you know. Anyway, <laughs> we could have gone off on a long <laughs> tangent there, but we won't. Anyways, we got a new trailer. Okay, uh, it's come out. It's uh, called Anik, and I think it has Ishman Karana in it. Who's that? Uh... Mm, I don't know, uh, but and it's a T series <laughs> film. Who's that? And you know what that means? It didn't have subs. Yeah, thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, you're only like the biggest production house. Yeah, outside of like Dharma, and out of the one point something billion people in India, only one point something billion also speak English. Anyways, but it's a for, it's an action thriller. Ooh. Um, and it's from the same director as like Thapped and Article 15. So it's like hard hitting messages. Yeah. Um, but, awesome. But different from his like comedic hard hitting messages. I think it's more like, uh, I, but it's a socio political action thriller set against the geopolitical backdrop of Northeast India. That's All a right. lot of. Uh, How far northeast are we talking here? Uh, the northest and the eastiest. Thanks for that. But once again, it didn't have subs. And so you know who came in clutch? Hey, Nas. Hey, Nas. The original. OG. OG. Wow. Uh, Thank you, Hey, Nas. Hey, Nas. He, ca he came in clutch. Uh, uh, some of our suburbs Thank uh, you so were much. busy you know, working with real My jobs. Uh, and and for those of you who don't know, Hey, Nas has been around since day one. Day and one. And was the first to sub anything and for so us. I asked. And support us. And he came on clutch. I was like, "Is it? can anybody do this real quick? And he's like, give me 20 minutes. So shout out to Hey, Nas. Stud. Thank You're you. You're an absolute stud. So here we go. Hey, Nas. Hey, Nas. Don't come between us. Ew. <laughs> Here we go. India, India. I'm going India. I'm going to go to India. I'm going to go to Northeast India. Northeast means West Bengal is the whole side of India. Mission was to help the Tiger and Indian government to help the Tiger and Indian government. Oh, jeez. Wow. They're just throwing that word around, aren't they? जॉनसन <laughs> अगर इंडिया के मैप से स्टेट्स के नाम छुपा दू 
कितने इंडियन हर स्टेट के नाम पे उंगली रख सकते हैं ये है नॉर्थ ईस्ट टीवी पे एक मिनिस्टर बोल रहा था त्रिपुरा मिजोरम का कैपिटल है ना इतना भी नहीं जानते कि दोनों स्टेट्स के नाम है अब कहा से है सर तेलंगाना साउथ साउथ क्यों सर क्योंकि मैं साउथ इंडिया से हूँ पर तेलंगाना तो तमिलनाडु के नॉर्थ में है सर पीपल ऑफ तमिलनाडु शुड कॉल यूर नॉर्थ इंडिया मे बी आपको क्या लगता है मैं कहाँ से हूँ सर नॉर्थ इंडिया ऐसा क्या लगता है आपको क्योंकि तुम्हारी हिंदी साफ है तो हिंदी डिसाइड करते हैं कि कौन नॉर्थ से और कौन साउथ से नो सो इट्स नॉट अबाउट हिंदी इधर कैसे डिसाइड होता है सर नॉर्थ इंडियन नहीं साउथ इंडियन नहीं ईस्ट इंडियन नहीं वेस्ट इंडियन नहीं सिर्फ इंडियन कैसे होता है आदमी पीस किसी को चाहिए ही नहीं वरना इतने सालों से एक छोटी सी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व नहीं हुई जीतेगा कौन आई हैव ओनली वन सेम थिंग इज यूर्स ओनली वन क्रिटिसिजम यू कुड हैव मेड इट टू नीड टू बी दैट लॉन्ग टू थर्टी Yeah, could have been not, 2:30. That whole scene in the car, yeah. just his final line when he said "North, East, South." Yeah, get rid of that whole scene. Yeah, there was a because it's a great trailer. There was a part right before they got in the car. Yeah, I thought it could have ended. Could have ended, and it would have been. I was like, "That's a great trailer." And it was it right at two minutes. It was. It was a spectacular. And it's not. I'm not saying that stuff after was bad. Not it's at all. Just, it's you, just superfluous. You didn't need it. Correct. I was already in before. It. It, it actually. That scene in the car took me from way here, and I kind of went like this, uh, and then back up at the end. And in a trailer, and you don't want that. And it's not because it. that scene was bad. Not it, at all. It looked like a good scene. Great scene. It's just your trailer. You're trying to build up the yeah, anticipation yeah, yeah. for what this is. You can't take take us here and then take us back down here. Agree. And that, but that's my yeah, yeah. only. It's, what a great trailer. This looks this looks phenomenal. Yep. One, the story looks important. Yeah, we talk about it all sure the time. Sure does. Looks essential. And, uh, looks representation. Yep. Uh, for engaging uh, Northeast Indians, excellent. Who often, who often don't get the recognition um, as uh, being Indian because they so Indian. much more resemble another uh, Asian people in China. Yeah. And um, my goodness, it was hard to hear them say that word over and over again. Yeah, using the uh, the, the c uh, word. The the c <laughs> word for for I, I guess it's for. Is it for is it all Asia or is it Chinese people? It's think, particularly mostly? the Chinese yeah. because the Japanese had one for them in World War II. Yeah, that was derogatory. So yeah, it's like it's like yeah. when uh, Quentin Tarantino shows the, sh- shoves the N word in all of his. Yeah, films. it hurts. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things that's just jarring. I'm glad because I don't know if the that word would have uh, if the like T series would have actually put it. Um, Right, it translated to that the way Hay Nas did. Translated in the way Hay Nas did it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> the way Hay Nas did it. Yeah. Um, but I, I think we got a lot more because it was the great uh, trailer, Nas. man. Great. Um, it, it everybody. Looked, one, massive. Yep. It looked like this massive action thriller with an important message story. All yeah. the VFX All looked up really one. good. All VFX the acting good. looked phenomenal. Acting looked good. It looked it looked right off the bat, and I'll I can grade trailers also the same way. Was it engaging? You bet it was. Did it, did, it, did it, am I going to learn something? You bet I am. It's educational. Was it uh, excellent? Sure was. Did it seem to be an enlightening experience? I bet it will be. Um, so, and it almost looked like they went into some type of concentration camps, or I don't know. I don't specifically know what they were specifically going into. Mm. Um, if you guys, well, obviously, don't give anything away, but obviously, you can kind of educate if you kind of know, well, exactly know the history of, better of than what us. They're sh- the story they're telling. Yeah. Uh, Ayushman Karana, he's yeah, a phenomenal. I love, he's a phenomenal actor, and I he always does these stories. Love his choices. The, these films that yep. have, it seems like he kind of took the mold of Amir Khan, but. His films have even like it's like they're more. Um, I don't mean this as an insult to Amir Khan. They're more adult. Yeah, um, they're not as universally. But you, uh, also, Amir was at a different time, and abso- so absolutely, he's coming at a time where it's more generally acceptable to do it exactly. And I just, I just meant in the hard hitting yeah. maturity aspect that are, uh, you know, Amir Khan's, and I think it's a great comparison because it is this this wheelhouse of 
understanding because they both are doing films and have done films at an excellent Khan, level at an excellent level that cover universal truths yeah. and have you look at the human condition in ways so that you can learn something or be empathetic about something and not forget about it so I think yeah, he's a good and also comparison. he looks different he does he, he, he looks, looks like bulkier. he's put on some pounds for this role because the last clearly. one we saw was what uh, well at least the theaters yeah uh, was article 15 now he put on some he put on some pounds for this uh, and I think he was like skinnier in that one he was this look like he's beefy in this really good action some really good representation of northeast indians who don't often get the representation they deserve and we're seeing it yeah. more like with um but i do um you saw the representation there you, it looks like modern love is going to have some good northeastern representation because obviously before you either didn't get it or you had people like priyanka chopra playing a northeast indian right obviously we haven't seen that film but that's <laughs> we've always said we've thought that was a that, weird casting choice weird we casting. love priyanka but that's a weird casting choice i'm sure there's an ample amount of great Northeast Indian actor actresses. That it's could. as weird a choice as I, I'm. I'm going to see the film, but it's just been on and on. Gal Gadot is going to play Cleopatra. Is, what's her ethnicity? Gal Gadot. Yeah, she's Israeli. In, Cleopatra's African. African Egyptian, though, right? Yes. Yeah, but that looks a lot different than Israeli. Yeah. That's strange. It's a strange thing. They because Hollywood's been particularly good lately. Lately, as at least having even in animation, The Lion King, the entire cast yeah. was and, of African descent. Yeah, and it's one thing if you're gonna go Hamilton, that, but... and it's just gonna blow the doors off of it because you have an artistic vision that's going to be not definitively historical, and it works because you're contemporizing a story for the modern day audience to understand what was going on culturally. Yeah. That is, is anyway, we don't have to get off on a tangent on that, but I, I agree with you. I yeah. love the fact that we're going to see lead characters who are Northeast Indian and talking about the fact that they're Indian and often treated very not Indian. I would love to, um, um, maybe maybe we'll get to talk to him because obviously you always, your chances go up uh, to talk to some actors when they have a film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they're doing they're promotion. Promoting. Not always, because obviously... Most of them still don't know who we are or care or what what have you. It's still very difficult to to get people, but I would love to be able to talk to him because one, yeah. I think he's a, a really good actor and I love his choices. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to this film. I am and too. Once again, thank you so much to yeah, hey Nas, hey Nas man, hey thank you Nas. Uh, for coming in clutch because uh, obviously it wouldn't have meant the same if we just watched it without subs. Not at all. There's a lot of stuff going on under there yeah uh even when we had the subs we didn't quite understand everything that was going on yep um anyways yeah, thank you it's great please let us know what you thought about the trailer uh and uh any other information we need to know down below Just